Kumusta mga master? This is Enough Said and today we're gonna be explaining how I record my vocals in FL Studio and how I edit my uh, vocals with the effects that I have you know the template effects here in FL Studio so I pre-recorded my vocals earlier and this is the result of my vocals you should hear it I won't finish it but at least you would hear it Ito. Nakatambay na naman, wala naman Di nagkakaabalahan Alright, that's it So first uh, thing that I do is I double click it I go here Usually I normalize it And then I adjust the volume The knob on how I want it uh, to sound like And then I'm gonna be going in here Right click this one, click edit in audio editor and then I already cleaned it but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it so highlight the first part of your recording and click this brush and click acquire noise profile click that one and in my case I already did that earlier so click that one close this one highlight everything in here click the brush again and then click accept like this one but in my case I already did that so I usually do that two times so I would clear or clean the uh, I would clean the background noise or the static noise in my mic I'm actually using a BM 800 from Shopee and also a phantom power in Shopee as well and then next up you're gonna be dragging this one so this is a drag copy sample or selection drag that one there and I already cut this vocals earlier so if you do that just align it where you want it and then just go ahead and drag this one to the top or you could use this track whatever you like just you know to fit to fit the beat that you have so i already did that earlier so i'm not gonna be doing that in here so i'm gonna be removing this one all right so i use an instrumental from djf1 it's uh, titled matini it is actually a non-profit beat but I'm, I'm planning to buy it soon after i save up <laughs> yeah so going back in this tutorial i'm gonna close this one after i copy or drag in my track the next thing that i would do would be i would right click this track and then click uh, track mode audio track and then i'm gonna be inserting this one into vocals which is this one okay so I already named this one if you want to rename it into vocals just right click this one click rename and then type whatever you want change the color whatsoever you could do that as well press enter and then going to the editing um, I usually put uh, an EQ first or an equalization using fruity parametric EQ2 just click this one and then you can find it here yeah this one so I already put that one and I already adjusted this so click this one and what I did with this one is let me put it in default what I did in this one I drag it down all the way down to reduce the hertz in my bass and my vocals and then I go in here and then find this one just scroll it down up and down and find this one I adjust it based on the sound that I like usually removes too much bass in your voice or if you don't have any voice I mean <laughs> of course you have a voice but any strong bass in your voice it actually cut it down to an exact hertz that you like so let me hear this ito nakatambay na naman wala naman di nagkakaabalahan sinong tatawagan dyan na kung puntahan alright I'm happy with this one 
and then I'm gonna drag this one as well maybe this low and I'll do the same thing yeah find that one yeah this one all right so I'm gonna play it again and I'm gonna find the best or the um, perfect spot for this number seven ito nakatambay na naman wala naman di nagkakaabalahan sinong tatawagan dyan ako'y puntahan ituro ko alright that's it and click close next one I'll be, I'll be using a uh, fruity compressor uh, by the way guys I'm actually a Filipino so I don't speak English that good but I'm trying my best so my verse or the vocals is in Tagalog because I have a song this is actually a song of a uh, song of mine but I tried um, using it as an example for the FL Studio tutorial so I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, the default one okay I'm gonna increase the ratio this ratio compresses the vocals or the volume of the um, the the, uh, the recording that I have so those parts where a bit silent or quiet would be ratioed to the ones that are that are uh, louder and the ones that are louder would be ratioed to the ones that are quiet so basically it compresses the vocals so that it would sound the same so I'll, I'm gonna be increasing this one maybe around 20 or 15 maybe around 20 yeah and the threshold would be um, turn the way you want it based on the sound Ito. so Di nagkakaabalahan Sinong tatawagan dyan ako'y puntahan Ituro ko sa'yo ang daan Kasya na isang daan Ako ay gagawa ng Maybe paraan this part. Dali sumukay ka na mga trip Alright And the gain would be The uh, loudness of the vocals If you wanna increase the volume But in my case I don't wanna um, Move this one Ito Nakatambay na naman, wala naman Di nagkakaabalahan so Sinong tatawa Okay, next one Let's close this one This one would be another e equalization So I made this one I used the same with the first equalization The, the same steps that I did earlier So the, the one and the seven is cut And with the four what I did was um, just uh, let's do it in a three this one I'm gonna increase this one and based on how I hear the music and then scroll your mouse down on the part where you don't hear it as good as you want it so scroll it down for example I chose this one and then I'm gonna drag it back down that's how I did it but in this case I'm gonna maintain the place of the number three I, I, I did it with the fourth one because that is the place where I found something that doesn't sound right so we could do that with the two three four and five also six I did it in the six so you could do that to actually make your voice uh, better on how you edit it so it actually depends on your voice so we don't we don't have the same uh, presets or I mean the same settings in here because we have different voice you know so you could adjust that depending on what voice you have all right so close this one All right, I forgot to turn this on. Oh my God, let's click this one. So if you could hear it, it sounds like. So it's compressed. 
that's why I don't hear anything earlier so let's hear Ito. it again maybe I need a bit gain in the compressor Ito. that's better alright so I forgot to click this one that's why I'm a bit you know let's go ahead with the maximus alright click the maximus this maximus will be found also in the effects in here select and then you can find it here below yeah click this maximus and then click presets click the SR narrow band and then click mid and hear it basically it just removes the s in yours in your voice the the strength of the S, so it's called the -er. So click the -er narrow band. I'm gonna lower it down a bit. This gain post. Ito na katambay na naman wala naman di nagkakaabalehan si nung tatawag ng jan ako ipuntahan. Ito naman di nagkakaabalehan si nung ta. Alright, that's a bit better. Okay, and then click close. Next up would be the fruity reverb. Alright, so adjust it the way you want it. You could play around this uh, wet, this dry, this ER. You could play around it. Left cut, uh, high low cut, high cut, and the delay. You could uh, play around this one on how you want to sound if you want to sound dreamy or you want to sound sad you want to sound hyped or It depends. Okay, but in this vocals. I just uh, Put a little bit of reverb to make it sound alive and I'm gonna be adjusting it here in the knob not here in the reverb option so I can place a lot of reverb in here but I could also maintain um, the vocals with the knob in here on how I want to make this effect um, in my vocals so for example I'm gonna be placing it in the full knob it sounds like this yeah it sounds like uh, it sounds like that so in this case I'm gonna be lowering it down lowering it down in here this knob so I can control the amount of reverb that I'm gonna be putting in my vocals right. that's the right amount that I want and then the last one would be the fruity limiter so this actually limits the uh, um, the sound I mean the louder parts of your vocals it acts as well as a noise gate it can eliminate the static noises as well so if you're gonna click this one let's, let's click this one first Right. You could adjust the threshold so you could remove the um, static noise so you could pick this in here but Alright, but I'm just gonna lower it down here and I placed the ceiling in here on the top of the highest vocals or the highest volume of my voice or if you want to lessen the uh, the volume of it I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it down so whatever you want to do you could do that okay so close this one and that's it I'm gonna be playing this one with the instrumental
right? That sounds good. It depends on how you wanna um, sound like. But in my case, this is my uh, preference. But if you wanna make the volume um, louder, you can do that as well. And if you wanna know uh, something else with FL Studio, um, you can just comment it down below. I'll be trying my best to make a uh, tutorial for it. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching and for listening with my song. Um, I'm actually a beginner in this uh, tutorials, but I really try my best, even in English, so that I people around the world, you know, even other nationalities, can understand at least what I'm saying and what I'm actually um explaining so that everyone can learn as well from the video so thank you for listening guys and watching please subscribe to my channel and goodbye mabuhay <laughs>